Hi guys, it's TZ and I am back with another update. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking to you all today about how I decided to incorporate CBD oil into my fertility protocol. My disclaimer before I start anything, this is my disclaimer and this is always going to be my disclaimer. I am not any of the following. I am not an LPN, I'm not an RN, I'm not a nurse practitioner, I'm not a physician assistant, I'm not a physician, I'm not even a CNA, I don't work in a hospital, I don't have any medical background, I am just um, sharing with you all my journey, my fertility journey. So if you all decide to do anything, I just encourage you all uh, to just do your research. If Google sometimes is your best friend, I just want to put that disclaimer out there, I'm not any of those. So. So I want to say back in September-ish, I started researching CBD. I have a few friends that take it and I kept seeing stuff on social media about it. So I was like, well, let me just let me just do my research and see what CBD is all about. So um, when I started researching it, I just I, one of the first things that popped up was that it reduces inflammation. So I'm like, ding, 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 ding. Let me try it because it can't hurt, right? Like everything is already messed up. Like how much more damage can I do by by adding the CBD oil. So, so what is CBD? So CBD is part, is one of the chemical compounds that make up the marijuana or cannabis plant. The plant has different compounds and another well-known part of the plant is THC. That's the part of the plant that gets you high or stoned or whatever, but CBD does not do any of that. It has completely different benefits. A lot of people use it for, um, as a natural remedy to treat like different ailments. So, and in New York, it is perfectly legal to take CBD oils. Um, I am on the keto diet. I've been on the keto diet since May of last year. Um, so yeah, since May of last year, off and on, I cheated a little bit during the holidays. My dad makes the best sweet potato pie. So I did cheat a little bit, but um, for the most part, I've been really consistent with the keto diet. So when the first thing that I seen with with the CBD oil was like that it reduces inflammation. I'm like, well, this can't hurt. This can't hinder anything that I'm doing. So let me just give it a shot. Other benefits to CBD oil includes, it also reduces pain. Um, it relieves anxiety and depression. A lot of cancer patients tend to use CBD. And the list goes on. Another one that, that kind of stood out to me as far as like um, reducing like high blood pressure. So people that have high blood pressure also tend to use uh, CBD or CBD oil or any type of CBD um, product. So like I said, if you Google it, CBD or CBD oil, like I said, you'll see a lot of different pages. Um, you'll see a lot of different references to CBD, what it is, and like I said, like the benefits. So like I said, that's that's a, that's some of the benefits, but the list can go on as far as like what the benefits are. So there's different products you can use. They have tinctures, they have edibles, they have lotions, they have oils, they have cream, they have water, they have bath bombs, vapes. There's different ways to consume CBD. So, or again, it, it can be used as topical as well. So there's a lot of different products that you can try. Right now, I've tried two different products. Well, actually three. Um, two tinctures or two oils and then one topical. So also, when I started doing my research, I started researching places that sold it. I, I'm really weary about like ordering stuff online. So I did do my, do, I did do my research as far as like where I could purchase CBD oil. And I found a boutique in, in my area. I liked her story as to why she opened um, her shop. I felt comfortable going into the store just being so naive about everything and feeling like I could ask like dumb questions type of thing. So when I went the first time, the gentleman, I've gone three times and every time I've gone, they've been extremely, extremely helpful. So I appreciate that. So again, usually, I mean, it's up to you to tell them like, a, you know, what you're going to use it for. Like I said, I kind of knew like what I needed it for. I just wanted to know the best route or the best method of taking it. The first one I, so I, like I said, I'm currently I have two different products. One is a, a tincture, I guess you could say, or a CBD oil. I will put it somewhere up here um, as far as what it is. But the brand is called Koi. And with the Koi, the first one, so it's Koi 500 milligrams. So again, I'll put it somewhere up here because um, my camera's not zooming well. So you take one to two drops. You can take it up to three times a day and you put it sublingual, which is under your tongue. So with this one, the first one that I tried, um, I was telling him about it, like he was, there was different ones that you could try. There's different CBD or tinctures that you could try. So with this one, I noticed that the, the consistency is 
thicker it's a little thick it's not like as thick as honey but maybe like a nectar thick it's not thin like water so when you put it under your tongue and this one actually like warmed up like when you put it under your tongue it actually feels good you hold it under your tongue for about 30 seconds if you can hold it more i guess the more the better but you hold it for at least 30 seconds under your tongue so with this one like i said once you drop it you feel it it kind of warms up under your tongue and it does have a little bit of flavor and after that anything that's left you just continue like you kind of just swallow it so this one says flavor flavorless additive and i like i said when i was talking about different ones and then so i decided to go with this one the koi brand 500 milligrams so started using it thought i lost it so i waited like a week or two before i purchased another one because this stuff isn't this stuff isn't cheap so i was like well let me see if i find it if not then i get another one so i went back to the store and got another one so when i went to the store i got another one he it was a different gentleman but he handed me a different one same brand but i, I was asking him i was like well i the last time i got i, I pointed to the one that i got and i said well, what's the difference so this one is koi natural still 500 milligrams and this one is spearmint so he was telling me that the the first one that i got i can you can put it under your tongue like sublingually but he said that uh people put this like in their drink or like in the water or stuff like that so you can mix this one this one is just to take naturally like under the tongue so i was like oh okay so he said either one was fine but i figured i would try this one since it was a different flavor so when i tried this one i noticed that this one the it wasn't it didn't have that nectar that thick consistency with as the other one so when i put it under my tongue it kind of felt blended in with my saliva so kind of just didn't know like if i was swallowing it or not like when you're supposed to kind of wait like it so i kind of prefer the other one the one that says the added like you add it in the water i kind of prefer that one better than just the koi naturals just because like i said once i put it in under my tongue since it felt like my saliva i just didn't know like if i was trying to hold it but i just kind of just felt like it i wasn't so same thing two to um one to two drops under your tongue um and like i said you go up to three times a day so these are the two that i started with last about a month i want to say i do have a, probably like a little bit more in these so then so like i said i did my research on my own my potion lady she didn't put me on to it she didn't my ari didn't put me on to it i researched it myself so i was all happy about that and then i follow seeing my uh on social media and then uh seeing why start advertising that they sell cbd oil and i was like oh, i'm doing something right like isn't this something i'm i was so tz pat yourself on the back because i'm doing something right and nobody told me to do it i did it on my own so um if you are so cny sells it on their site and i believe you could go to one of their locations and, sell, and and purchase it as well so i was excited because they also encourage to try to incorporate cbd into your fertility protocol so um, when I went on their site, I just wanted to kind of compare prices type of thing just to see but um, I think theirs was a little bit cheaper actually, but I don't think that it was um, The bottle I'm not sure how big the bottle was I have to check but their prices were a little bit more reasonable and the brand is different I think they have their own brand of uh, CBD oil so Because the stuff is is not I mean it doesn't break the bank, but it's not it's not cheap either so I also noticed when I was on the site, I was like, I forgot I could go to the store, but since it's been cold lately, I'm not going anywhere. Like, I, I don't know. I just haven't, um, I haven't been there lately for like acupuncture or yoga or anything. And this shop is actually close to my house. So usually when I'm going to get coffee, like I could always just stop by there and just ask questions or whatever. So I noticed that on the CNY website, they also had, they had the CBD oil, but then they also had a topical and the topical was sold out. And I'm like, oh but maybe I should try the topical. So I was like, well, let me just go to this. Let me go to the boutique to see if they have it. And um, again, so that was the third time I went. Gentleman was very, very helpful. Um, he let me try a few in the store. And then I ended up going with this, the um, the topical. It's called Cibidol. This one is 900 milligrams. Both of the oils that I've tried, those are 500 milligrams. This one is 900 milligrams. I decided to go with this one uh, because, like I said, he let me try a few in the store. This one is called a, a salve, um, and this one's two two ounces as far as for this this container. When I tried this one, it has a consistency of like shea butter, so I feel like as far as the um, I don't know, sometimes when you put on lotions or oil and stuff like that, it just I feel like I know like like I can touch my stomach and I still like I feel it there. You know, like when we have shea butter and it's thick, like you, you feel it. So like this. So usually after. So usually after I take a shower, I'll put it on and sometimes I'll also put it on at night. So I don't think you can overdose on this. I haven't done both at the same time. I haven't taken the, the, the tincture and um, done the oil. I don't think it would hurt, but 
I just have it. So once I like, I kind of switched over to this. This is going to stay in my fertility pro protocol. This is um, gonna be like one of my holy grails. There's other things that I've tried and I felt like it didn't work for me, but this I'm definitely gonna do. So after I take a shower, I put it, um, I rub it on my um, stomach or my abdominal area. And like I said, uh, sometime at night as well. And it doesn't take a lot, like I'm not sure if my camera is gonna zoom, but we can try. Let's see, maybe not, but I don't know if you can see it, but as far as like, I haven't used so I've had this for a month and you can see like it's still so if this is the bottle then I'm gonna say like it's still this much left in here in the container and I usually like use this and if I like take it out then maybe like this much you can see my camera's not zooming in on it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's not zooming. But you, I want to say maybe a dime to nickel size. You don't need a lot. I think a, a little bit goes a long way with this. And so, yeah, I I, I definitely enjoy this. I do enjoy the, um, the, the tinctures or the oils as well to take it sublingually. Um, like I said, the one that's... Um, the first one that I got that gets all warm and fuzzy like under your tongue. Like, I like that one. But this, I'm definitely going to keep... This one is not cheap either. Like I said, when I went on CNY, um, they were sold out. It was cheaper, but it was only one ounce, and this one is two ounces. And then when I looked online for this brand and just to see like how much it costs, it was more even more expensive online than when I got it at the boutique. So I was actually kind of happy. So this is gonna last me a couple of months, um, and I do use this every single day. With the oils, um, and I feel like by putting it on my abdominal area, like I'm focusing on that specific area. When I use the tinctures or the oils, I feel like I did notice a difference. But as far as like, um, I tend to like, I'm a worry wart. I tend to get anxious or like I have anxiety. So I feel like when I took it, it did calm me down and it, you know, it made me less, less anxious. So I feel like the, I do feel a difference. So I feel like it, depending on where you are in your journey, and what you need it for you can benefit from both like i said it just depends on like if it's a um you know if it's before an appointment or two week wait or something like that i probably would do the oil i probably would do the um the tincture type of thing but as far as to reduce the inflammation in my uterus or ut uterine area i'm definitely going to stick with this salve like i said it, it it's um this one like i said it's like a shea, shea butter i know they have lotions um, they have creams, they have other topicals that you can use, but this one, just because I'm used to putting this type of um, product on my body as far as, uh, uh, you know, something thick for my skin, I like this. And like I said, I like it because I, I still feel it like hours later. It, again, usually when you use like shea butter or like a cocoa butter type of thing, like a natural one, you feel it. I'll list the ingredients down below. Um, all natural and organic, but the as far as like it has an earthy smell to it with this one so like i said this is my whole this is gonna go into my holy grail this is one this is something that i if you are going to incorporate cbd oil or cbd into your um fertility protocol then i'm gonna say to definitely go with this this is the winner side effects um i'm not sure i think there are a few side effects that are listed that can happen to people i haven't had any side effects whatsoever like i said i've been using this since maybe november so November, December, January. So three months now I've been using CBD or CBD oil and I haven't had any side effects at all. Like Since I bought the cream, I haven't used the tinctures, but I'm pretty sure you could use both at the same time. I just haven't. Um, and like I said, I'm not sure if, even though I put this on my abdominal area, it still has that relaxing type of feel. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So like I said, this is going to be, um, this is going to stay in my fertility protocol. I will put the information down below and like i said if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out to me i will try my best to answer them if i have it if not i will try to direct you into the right direction um but yeah that's it happy new year i hope that you all are doing well um i'm just definitely thankful just to that god has blessed me just to see another year and just i'm just happy that i woke up today so i don't know like comment down below if you all use any type of products as far as that's that cbd related or anything that you all recommend let me know like i said i'm always trying to just um 
enhance or just you know try different things so like i said i've tried these two but i know there's other things out there but if there's anything that you all have tried definitely let me know and let me know how they worked for you and that's it so that is all my update for now and i will see you all in my next journal entry take care guys bye